Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm sharing with you the June kit from Freckled Fawn. I do have some processes coming up later on in the month um, that I'll be doing using this kit, but I wanted to do a video just showing you what comes in the June collection, and uh, I will be incorporating this into my monthly unboxings from here on out. I have recently joined the creative team with Freckled Fawn, so I'm super excited about that. So they did send me this kit to review and to play with and to use, so just heads up on that. Um, and I will be sharing, you know, processes with it. Uh, but I have worked with Circle Fawn a few times in the past and I've shared, I think it's one of those kind of underrated companies. So I'm excited to bring it to you and share with you about it more. And uh, I am super excited about June's kit because it is just gorgeous. It's all my favorite colors. So I'm excited about that. I will have a blog post over on my blog with coordinating colors to the best of my ability. Um, that way you can just grab colors and get creating. Um, there's certain pieces like the wood veneer that I love to ink or paint. And so it's nice to just know what colors match and you don't have to think about it. I've already done it for you. So you can he head on over and check out the blog post and it'll have close-up photos of the product as well. So uh, what I have here is the six by eight, uh, kit. They have a variety of kits that you can subscribe to or just pick up, you know, one off. You don't have to have a subscription. They have six by eight papers. They have standard TN size. They have just the ephemera. They have a variety of different ways you can order the products individually if there's just a couple things that you see that you like. So I love that they offer a variety of ways to get their products. So everything will be linked down below. And the nice thing is they actually have um, in stock past month's products as well. So while you're over there checking out June, maybe take a look Maybe there's some other alphas that you want to pick up or some stickers you want to pick up and just check out what they have um, in the shop. So let's take a look at June. Let's start with this piece here because it's super cute. This is the wood veneer piece. It is three by four size. So if you are a pocket scrapbooker, um, this will fit into a pocket um, page, but you know, you don't have to be limited to just using it that way. There's lots of other ways that you can use this, but I love that they've cut it to fit on a uh, three by four journaling card. You can leave wood veneer just as, as it is. I know a lot of people do, but I like to customize it with things like distress paints or inks, markers, um, even gelatos will color um, wood veneer. So maybe explore and play with inking this up, maybe do like, you know, an ombre color or something, you know, even a rainbow blend would be super fun. So lots of different ways that you can personalize these wood veneer pieces. They do have some dimensions. So if you were looking at products to use in your journaling Bible or planner, if you're somebody that's more, you know, more that speed, there is a little bit of dimension. It's not super obnoxious. It's not the thickest wood veneer I've ever used. So it, you could get away with using this um, in projects like that, in like a TN or something like that. Um, and it will just add a little bit of dimension. Next up, these are like a favorite of mine. I love the chipboard stickers from Freckled Fawn. Uh, one of the many reasons I love them is they pop out of the sheet with the backer still attached. So you can place this on your layout or your project and kind of figure out if it's, you know, what you want to use and where you want to use it before you remove the sticker. And then you don't need adhesive. It already has adhesive on it and it just sticks down. So I love that they're just super, super easy to use. They are a really nice quality chipboard and they come in a variety of shapes. Again, the color palette this month is my jam. We're getting ready for summertime. So we've got some corals, some pink, um, this aqua color, yellows. Um, you've got pretty much perfect, loving every second, one happy day, take note, uh, enjoy it. You're going to see the, th the sun theme throughout. I uh, love being together. And again, just a variety of shapes and things that you can use. These are chipboards. So again, a little bit of dimension if you're looking at things to use in a journaling Bible, traveler's notebook, planner, something like that. Um, but not super, super, super chunky. Uh, you could also, and I've, I've never personally done this, but I've seen it done before. You can peel off the back layers of chipboard. Now that will remove the adhesive layer, but you can peel off some of these layers to thin out your chipboard piece a little bit and then attach it if you're working in a project where you're not wanting a lot of bulk. So don't pass on these just because you think they're gonna be too chunky. You can peel off those back layers and make them work. So there are the chipboard stickers. Next up, we have the enamel stickers. These come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. I love when they incorporate, um, you know, multiple sizes of dots and shapes because uh, I like to do little clusters of threes. Usually is how I use enamel dots um, or the center of flowers. So depending on the size of the flower stamp I'm using or, or die cut or something like that, these work great for that. And so you're getting this lime green, this kind of, this is almost like a neon uh, coral and then this really bright lemon yellow. So there are the enamel stickers. 
Next up are the label stickers. There are some really fun labels this month. These ones here have a spot where you could either do like the date or maybe you have a small sentiment stamp and then you wanted to do your journaling. You could do that. If you want to use um, your typewriter and type on this, you could attach these to like um, wax paper uh, and then maybe washi tape that to a piece of regular copy paper and then run that through your typewriter. And then that way you can still use it as a sticker. It'll peel off that wax paper, but you could run it through your typewriter and type um, your journaling in there if you wanted. Same thing with, you know, the other labels. If you wanted to use your typewriter, um, you could do that. So you've got a variety of shapes, again, just sticking with that color palette. Uh, label stickers are one of those staple items for me. I love them for layering behind things, um, adding, you know, a sentiment or maybe a word or a phrase I really want to stand out. And so I like that you have, you know, kind of a variety of shapes in there. And it, once you're done with the kit for this month, you, know, you can mix and match with other kits, other projects, um, other companies, things like that. Labels are just one of those kind of essential items for me. Next up, we have the washi stickers. So you get two sheets of the same patterns. These are actual washi material, so they will tear like washi tape. Uh, I love this because you're getting a variety of patterns instead of just, you know, ordering a roll of washi. I don't know about you, but I very rarely use up an entire roll of washi. So I like having this where it's specialized washies that'll match the kit, um, but I'm not stuck with a whole roll of watermelon washi that I probably won't go through a whole roll of. So you've got some fun patterns um, to go along with the theme of the kit and then some more neutral pieces, again, that you can mix and match. Variety of widths. There's some thinner widths, some wider widths. Um, so you have a lot of variety there. One thing I found last month when I was creating with the kit is that this perfectly fits in the bottom of an A5 notebook. So if you are working in a standard traveler's notebook, this is plenty wide enough. But if you're working in an A5, um, this will cover the bottom of the page or the top of the page or whatever um, will span the whole width of the page, which is really nice. So you get two sheets of those. Next up, we have the alpha stickers. This month is a uh, tile uh, alpha and you've got a uh, multiple of each letters. The font is consistent. No numbers, just all letters, but you've got plenty of each letter. So again, you can get lots of use out of those. I love tile alphas. Um, they're great, especially for working in smaller scale projects like traveler's notebooks or journal uh, Bible journaling. Um, or if I'm doing like a big bold title with you know, either hand lettered or big stickers and then adding smaller stickers like this for, you know, smaller words or little um, phrases and things like that. They're really nice for that. Last but not least are the papers. And again, I've requested the six by eight papers just because I feel like I get the most versatility out of them. I can cut them down to standard traveler's notebook size if I want to, um, but this will almost completely cover the inside of my interleaved Bible, which is the one that I'm you know, working in right now. So if I wanted to cover an entire page, this almost covers, I could add a little bit of acrylic paint or something like that as a border, um, but this covers you know, most of the page. You could use it in the um, margin of a journaling Bible or um, an A5 notebook, uh, A5 binder. So I just found that this was the most vers versatile for the types of projects that I do. Now, the set comes with doubles of each pattern. So I've already gone ahead and flipped them over. They are double-sided, as you can see. So I've already gone ahead and flipped one of them over so you can see all of the patterns. So we have this fun watermelon pattern. Now, one thing I do want to note real quick before we look at all of them is the quality of the paper. I am kind of picky about the quality of my pattern papers. I've mentioned this with some of the other companies I've worked with. Um, if you've ever bought big box craft store brand papers, you'll find them to be very thin. They're typically only one-sided. Um, they tear. They're just not good. Um, these are nice, thick, um, almost like journaling card thickness. And so if you're doing something like a mini book or you know a, a card, if you're creating cards, uh, you don't have to double these up um, or add, you know, extra reinforcement cardstock behind it to give it some heft. It definitely has a good weight. So if you're wanting to create maybe a dashboard and a planner or something like that, um, this has plenty of weight to be that. So you've got the watermelon and pink and white stripe, super cute. Again, I love that they give you two of each so that you can use a full sheet of the watermelon, use a full sheet of the stripe. You don't have to pick and choose, you know, which one that you prefer or want to use more of. You've got this fun yellow and white sun print and this black and white triangle pattern. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Super micro, so nice um, neutral. 
Then you have this really fun green diamond pattern and a black and white polka dot. I'm a sucker for a black and white polka dot. It is essential to me. I use that all the time. And then we have this one here, one happy day. So if you wanted to maybe do a lot of journaling and then have a full large photo or maybe, um, you know, a series of photos and do all your journaling on this page, this would be great for storytelling. And then you've got this fun multicolored circle pattern. So there's a look at the six by eight papers. Again, you can also get those in the traveler's notebook standard size, um, which means this page here would automatically be sized to fit in a standard traveler's notebook if that's what you create. And uh, I have showed some projects in the past using Freckle Fawn and they have some really fun um, pocket pages for traveler's notebooks, which are very unique. I haven't really seen those on the market. So I will link those down below. You can check those out. That's one of the ways that I love to create um, with my Freckle Fawn products. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything. Just heads up, those are affiliate links. So thank you ahead of time for shopping those. You help support me and my family and what I do here on my channel, continuing to offer free content for you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for June's kit. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Be sure to click on that bell notification button so you don't miss any future videos from me. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.